Hello, I'm Jeff. I'm the owner of MouthpieceGuy.com. In this video, we're gonna compare our mouthpiece with the mouthpieces from our main competitors. When searching for a custom mouth guard online, you'll usually find about three to four other main companies besides ourselves. In our last video, we compared the impression kits from all these companies. In this video, we're gonna actually compare the finished mouthpieces. Now again, the purpose of this video is to show you that not all mouth guards are created equally. Just like any other gear you buy, there's different levels of quality. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll be able to see for yourself that the level of our quality is much higher than our competition. Now let's get started. All right guys, so here we go, the moment of truth. Um, I've been pretty excited about receiving these mouthpieces from uh, all these other companies. Um, but to be honest with you, I'm not surprised at the quality of work that we receive. Um, Again, I just want to say I'm not going to mention names. You know, I don't want to dog them individually. Uh, I'm sure there's legal ramifications if I mention their names. But if you look online, you're going to find the same companies. And these are their mouth guards. Okay, so you can kind of put two and two together on your own. Uh, the first mouth guard we're going to look at is this one right here. Now, in our impression kit um, comparison video, we went in a certain order, and I'm going to go in that same order uh, for the mouthpieces, okay? So this one was the really bad impression that we did. And um, what's funny is that the way the mold turned out is exactly what I expected, and I'll show you guys what I mean. So here's the mold of my teeth. Um, if you want to zoom in here a little bit, I can really kind of show you really just kind of how crappy the craftsmanship on this thing is. And if you look right here, you know, you got this big fat bubble. Um, the whole gums area is completely like distorted. It's all trimmed away. Um, right here, the width of my molars is way shorter, about, about two, two and a half millimeters, actually more narrow than uh, what my teeth are in my mouth. So this mouthpiece, when I pop it in, and, and I'll show you, um, it doesn't really fit at all. It, it's very painful to get in because the width here compared to the width here, this is my mold. I mean, you can see that this is a lot wider on both of these molars here and here compared to this one. You see that? And that just comes from an inaccurate impression, which was kind of the whole purpose of the previous video. Um, as far as the graphics go, they cut into the graphic right here. So we have this little notch cut out for the freedom, freedom attachment, but they cut all the way into the graphic. If you really look closely, you can see right here they cut into it. So what's going to happen if I was to use this mouthpiece regularly, my saliva and water would kind of seep through in here and um, potentially ruin this graphic because you want to have it sealed. You want to have these graphics completely sealed so that no other uh, liquid or fluid can get to them. Um, another thing, if you look here, you can see these kind of rough edges. If you look real close, get a nice, you know, zoomed in shot, you can see right here where it's, where it's roughed up, it's been grinded on, but it hasn't been smooth, it hasn't been polished. Um, another thing I don't like about this thing is the length. So if you look here, you can see how, you know, it's got my first molar, but right here, my second molar, it's cut about halfway through. Now, in none of these orders did I request to have um, the mouth guard shortened for any type of gag reflex issue. So really, I'm expecting these mouthpieces to cover all my teeth. This one does not. Um, right here, it's, it's, you know, not polished, not smooth. Um, when I wear this, this sharp edge, if you can kind of see, it looks like it's got like a 90 degree, kind of like a corner, right? This, this edge, right, especially right here, it's not rounded, it's not smooth, and this actually is, is a little painful on my tongue when I wear this. Um, so overall, this mouthpiece really is pretty much, sorry about that, is pretty much exactly what I expected. It's a fail. Um, it's better than a, than a boil and bite, that's for sure. Do you want me to zoom out now? Or oh, shit, yeah. Up? Yeah. So uh, do you want to start from... Uh, so overall, this mouthpiece... Okay, yeah. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, and I'll come out and then... Okay. All right, and go for it. 
So basically, overall, this mouthpiece is a fail. I mean, um, it's better than a Boil & Bite, which any custom mouth guard is going to be uh, better than a Boil & Bite. But um, for what I paid, uh, I, I wouldn't be happy with this at all. Now, maybe this company, um, for their athletes that come to their office locally, or maybe some of their high-profile um, MMA fighters, they do a better job. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Uh, but for me, the average customer that just went online, uh, ordered a mouthpiece, I'm expecting, you know, their best. Um, uh, this is no good, really. Um, I'll show you our mouth guard at the very end, and you'll be able to see what, what true quality craftsmanship uh, looks like. But this one, the first one, no bueno. Okay, so here we go with our second mouth guard. Um, now this one is taller, okay? If you wanna kinda of zoom in here, you can kinda of see the height, it's, it's, it's tall. Um, they, they, what they do is they do this same kind of shape and cut out on every one of their mouthpieces. I've noticed um, going on their website and their Instagram and even seeing um, their mouth guards uh, in person from other uh, companies, um, they do the same exact cutout and shape every time. So regardless of your uh, individual shape and contours of your mouth, it, it's the same every time. Um, again, I didn't request to have the length uh, shortened, but yet they did. Um, and if you look right here, if you can get a nice zoom in here, you can even see, see this stuff right here. This is just poor craftsmanship. So when they cut this mouthpiece, and they kind of grinded it down, they didn't smooth uh, any of this out. So this is just like um, excess material that didn't get smoothed out. You know, this is from just being, uh, being lazy and trying to produce things as quick as possible. I had to kind of block out their logo there with a Sharpie, that's what that is. Um, another thing is this logo isn't really centered with my teeth. See, actually, the center of my teeth is right here, okay? So really the logo and this little notch cutout should be centered, but I'll show you. You can see the middle of my teeth on this mold is right about here, and we pop this in and it's, it's off center, right? This is just lazy, poor craftsmanship. Um, the mold itself, this mold is, is garbage. If you can zoom in, and I'm sure we're zoomed in already, if you can really see Look at all this. These are like uh, burr marks. So what they had to do, because they, they got such a poor impression from me, um, they had to kind of try to clean this up with their little Dremel burr, you know? And, and it's just, it's not, none of this is what's in my mouth. None of it, okay? I don't know what all they got going on over here is. Um, you can even see right here on my, on my canine, they trimmed away some of that. So the mouthpiece, is gonna hug tight against this model. So what that means is in my mouth, it's gonna hug too tight. It's gonna put too much pressure in my mouth. Um, what's also funny about this company um, is when I requested to have my mold returned to me, they sent the mold to me in the box that the mouthpiece came in um, without being bubble wrapped, without being uh, packaged carefully. This thing was literally just shaking around in the box. So that tells me that they don't care if I received my mold intact or not. You know, this thing could have been broken in pieces. They didn't care. So overall, this mouthpiece, another thing I want to show on this mouthpiece while we're zoomed in, is how thick it is in this area. And, and right here on, on the roof of the mouth, this whole area is very thick. It's pretty much just as thick here as it is, you know, in the area of the front teeth, which there's absolutely no purpose for that. That just makes it a little bit more uncomfortable uncomfortable and a little bit harder to breathe. So um, I would say this mouthpiece is a little bit better than the first one, but uh, it's, it's not on our level at all whatsoever. The craftsmanship, just look, get a nice straight shot and you can just kind of see, you see all these edges, they're kind of like uneven and not smooth properly and kind of sharp. Um, the craftsmanship is just not really um, up to par in my opinion. So. This mouthpiece, I, I wouldn't want to spend, uh, you know, hundred and something bucks for this thing. Overall, this mouthpiece, I would say it's a little bit better than the first one we did. But um, as far as the quality being on our level, not at all. Um, any mouth guard is a good mouth guard. It's always going to be better than a boil and bite. Um, but 
if you're trying to compare, you know, which mouth guard company to go to, um, these guys aren't on our level also, you know, just the craftsmanship. I was showing you guys, you know, the overall craftsmanship and the shape and, and the attention to detail is just not there. So once again, I would say another, another fail. Okay, so here we have our third mouth guard. Um, this thing's kind of funny. The shape, you don't really got to zoom in just yet, but look at this shape. There, there's no contouring to the gum line at all. No shaping, nothing. It's just a straight, flat cut all the way across. Um, and I can tell you for sure the reason they do that is to save time. Um, they're not trying to put any time in really matching the contours of your mouth and your teeth. So if you look on these guys' website or look at any of the mouthpieces they've made um, for maybe some of the, your buddies at the gym or something like that, they're all shaped like this. It's just a flat, straight across cut, right across, um, which I find just to be, uh, I don't know, impersonal. You know what I mean? Um, everybody's different. Everybody's mouths are different. Um, if you want to zoom in here, I can kind of show you, I don't know what the heck they did here, but... Um, there's like this strange little, it looks like they cut into it right here, almost by where my, my graphic is. You know, they cut into it right here, but didn't quite, you know, do any type of repair to it. You know what I mean? Um, again, they shortened this thing. You know, personally, I don't have a bad gag reflex when it comes to wearing a mouth guard. So I didn't request to have this thing shortened, okay? I want all my molars to be covered. Um, generally speaking, with a custom mouth guard, um, you want to cover all the teeth. Um, the wisdoms, you don't really got to cover the wisdom teeth. But first molar, second molar, you want to cover them. And since I didn't request to have this cut short, there's no reason for it to be cut short. Um, so, but you can see how it doesn't cover, you know, we got the first molar and then half of the second molar. Same on this side, you know. And again, right here in this area, let me try and angle this for you. Right here on the palate, the lingual area, it's just about as thick here as it is on the front of the mouth guard. So again, what that does is it makes it a little bit more uncomfortable, um, kind of disrupts the breathing a little bit. Um, the edge on this thing right here, you know, is a little smoother than, than the other two, but not by much, you know. It's like this square block that's sitting in the back of my, back of my mouth, you know. Um, this company, they add these like little bite pads. Um, I think they call it like a grip or something like that. Um, I guess this is for, so when you're biting into the mouthpiece, your teeth can kind of, uh, rest there. Um, they do recommend that you heat this up with boiling water and kind of put your bite marks in there, which is good, you know. Um, but this is just kind of confusing to me. I don't, I've never done anything like this. Um, and I don't see the purpose. When I wear this, it doesn't feel any better um, or anything. Okay, we can go and zoom out. So overall, I mean, the shape is horrible. The length is no good. The thickness on the palette is, is way too thick. Um, the graphic is, you know, it's a Mexican flag eagle. Um, nothing special, nothing negative about the graphic. The mold of my teeth, look at this thing. This is, again, you know, this is a, a horrible job. You know what I mean? Um, if you want to zoom in here real quick, I can kind of show you. See, this is where they cut the mouth guard. They just kind of cut it straight across. Doesn't match the shape of my contour or anything, you know? Again, they kind of had to fix some of this. And this is because the mold of my teeth wasn't very good. We got this big bubble right here. I don't know if you can see that. We got a big fat bubble here. Um, this mold is probably a little bit better than the other ones, but the fact that they cut this like this is just horrible. Okay, you can go and zoom out again. So overall, I mean, a little bit better maybe than the other ones, or same level. The first one was pretty bad. Um, so I'd say the same level as the second one, um, but not on our level as far as quality. That's, that's the whole point of this video, is we're looking for quality, craftsmanship, attention to detail. Um, so far, none of these, uh, compared to ours, really. So, um, the third one, you know, again, it's all right, 
but if you're looking for the best, you're not going to find it with them either. Now we have our mouthpiece. Um, same design uh, as all the other ones, the Mexican flag one. Um, but the quality and the attention to detail is going to be much better than you saw with the other ones. Um, right out of the gate, if you want to kind of get a little bit of a close up, you can see <clears throat> the shape and the contour, right? So nice and tall here and then kind of swooping down here. I have some uh, freedom attachment here on this side, obviously the one in the middle. Um, but, but this contour, the shape matches my gums, okay? I didn't just do some random shape or some basic shape that I do on all of them. We contoured this to match my teeth perfectly. Um, and again, we covered the second molar. So you can see here how we got the first molar covered and the second molar. We didn't cut it short. I don't have a gag reflex, so there's absolutely no reason to cut it short. I mean, just look at the, the polished job, you know, nice and clean, polished once you get it. The edges right here, okay, smooth edges. I don't know if you can see um, how clearly where I'm pointing, but the edges are all smooth, polished, rounded. Right here, let's go this way. This is all rounded. This is rounded here, okay? So you don't have any, you know, square, sharp edges that's going to be bothering me while I'm wearing this. Um, one thing I want to point out is you can see the, this is what's called occlusal indexing, okay? Or setting the bite um, on your mouthpiece. So my lower teeth marks are in this mouthpiece. So when I wear this, um, my bottom teeth are going to kind of lock in place, okay? This is something that none of the other mouth guard companies kind of make mandatory, I guess you could say. Um, the only one that did suggest doing it was the third mouth guard we did that had the little power grip thing on it. Um, but ours, we always, when we send these out, always tell customers that your mouth guard is not ready to use until you do this. And you do this with boiling water. It's pretty simple. We give you instructions. We have a how-to video. Um, but they, don't, they didn't even mention it, you know what I mean, which is not good. If you don't do this with your mouthpiece, um, your lower teeth are going to kind of slide around a little bit when you get hit. Also, the bite is going to feel kind of clunky, okay? But if you just take a look, I mean, you can see, you know, just the overall craftsmanship. Right here in this area, in the palate area, um, you know, it's actually very thin, you know. You don't need to have all this thick material in this area. So why have it there? You know, it makes for a more comfortable mouthpiece, a little bit easier to breathe with. Your tongue isn't being uh, disturbed by the plastic. Um, yeah, it's just an overall way more comfortable mouthpiece, way better made. Um, we spend a lot more time, put a lot more attention into each mouthpiece. Okay, you can go and zoom out. So if you were to have all of these in front of you right now, um, in person, you'd be able to see a, a huge difference. Um, let me show you the mold of my teeth, okay? So, here's the mold of my teeth. Go ahead and zoom in if you can. Now, I don't know if you remember what the other ones look like, but this thing is clean. All of this right here that you're looking at, on the right side and on the left side, that is literally what is in my mouth 100%. You look at it uh, from a down view, there's no, you know, misshapen or, or incorrect size on my molars, nothing. There, there's, there's no uh, discrepancies. We didn't have to uh, take our burr and kind of clean any of this stuff up, nothing. This mold is perfect, uh, a perfect match of what's in my mouth. And you can see when I snap this mouthpiece on, You know, the mouthpiece itself follows the shape of my teeth, the shape of my gums. We got a perfect fit, covers my, my second molars, right? So um, again, this was kind of what we were talking about in our first video comparing the impression kits. You can go and zoom out. Is that the, the mold of your teeth is, you know, pretty much the most important part of this whole thing. So if they're not putting a lot of attention, giving you a really quality mold, the mouthpiece itself is not going to be quality. This is, you know, 
This is kind of like common sense, I guess you could say. Um, so uh, the level of these mouthpieces are not compared to ours. They're, they're not, especially if you were to wear these. Um, in a second, I'll pop all these in and kind of show you uh, how they feel in my mouth and how they fit. And uh, I don't like how any of them fit. Then again, I'm also accustomed to how mine fit, you know. But uh, if you compared, you know, one next to another, you'd feel a difference uh, yourself for sure.